Okay, imagine this. 5,000 years ago in the dusty streets of Harappa, someone crafted a piece of jewelry so stunning, so colorful, that it still baffles scientists today. But here's the thing, this wasn't just jewelry, it was Minakari, an ancient art of painting with enamel and it's alive even now. How? That's the mystery we're diving into today. So, picture this. Persian invaders came to India, saw this incredible art and thought, we need this. They took the technique, refined it and called it their own. But guess what? The original magic? It stayed right here in India. The colors of Minakari don't fade. They don't dull. They're as vibrant today as they were thousands of years ago. How is that even possible? Here's the secret, it's not just paint. It's liquid glass mixed with metals, heated to 750 degrees Celsius, and fused onto gold or silver. The blues? That's cobalt. The greens? Copper. And the reds? Pure gold. This isn't just art, it's science, perfected centuries before the world even knew what chemistry was. But wait, there's more. The oldest enamel artifacts ever found? They're not from Persia or Europe, they're from Harappa. That's right, India was doing this before anyone else, and when the Mughals saw it, they were blown away. They called it Minakari, the art of the heavens. Now here's the question, how did this art survive? Wars, invasions, time itself, nothing could erase it. The answer, it's not just about the technique, it's about the people who kept it alive, generation after generation. So, next time you see a piece of Minakari, remember this? You're not just looking at jewelry, you're looking at 5,000 years of history, science, and sheer human brilliance. If you love stories like this, hit subscribe to Universal Insights. There's so much more to discover, like share and let's keep these incredible stories alive.